In 1985, deep in the woods of Allenstown, New Hampshire, a hunter discovered a metal barrel hidden near a remote campsite. Inside were the remains of a woman and a young girl no names. No missing person reports, no leads, just silence, mystery, and two lives erased without explanation. For years, investigators were haunted by the same questions. Who were they? What happened to them? And most terrifying of all, where was the killer? Then, in the year 2000, a second barrel was found only a hundred yards away. Inside were the remains of two more little girls. Four victims. Two barrels. One killer who had vanished without leaving a single trace. The case became one of New Hampshire's darkest mysteries, earning its now infamous name, the Bear Brook Murders. Detectives spent decades chasing dead ends. They followed every tip, cross-checked every missing person case, and used every forensic tool available at the time. But nothing connected. It was as if these victims had been erased from every record of society. Everything changed in the late 2010s, when forensic genealogy emerged as a revolutionary new tool. DNA from the victims was uploaded to genealogical databases allowing experts to reconstruct complex family trees. Piece by piece, name by name, the identities of the victims finally began to emerge. And then, a chilling pattern appeared. Three of the four victims were biologically related, a mother and two daughters. The fourth child, however, was not related yet, had been found beside them. This raised an even more disturbing question. Who was she? The answer led investigators to one man, Terry Petter Rasmussen, a drifter, a manipulator, and a serial predator who used multiple fake identities for decades. Rasmussen had moved across the country under different names, leaving broken families and vanished women behind him. By the time his name surfaced, he was already dead in a California prison. But forensic genealogy had spoken. Investigators confirmed that Rasmussen was responsible for the Bear Brook murders. After more than 30 years, the victims were identified, the truth uncovered, and one of the most haunting cold cases in American history was finally solved. To watch the full documentary and dive deeper into every disturbing detail, click the link in the description.